Howdy folks. This week at Coffee and Tools, I've got what looks like the, what, the belt buckle for Darth Vader or uh, something rather Star Trek-y looking maybe. Yeah, uh, it's actually one of those battery booster uh, packages. But when you look at the box like this, it, like, it doesn't make any sense you, to look at it. You're like, I have no idea what this thing is supposed to be. It does look like something from the future. Until you peel the plug back on this side. And of course, at that point, you, you put this in. And of course, now all of a sudden, now it makes sense. You know? <laughs> this charges off a USB. And so it, it's real easy to charge. And it holds 99,900 milliamp hours uh, in it so it can crank up a truck a car motorcycle an old jeep <laughs> or uh, in the other case uh, a lawnmower if you have a lawnmower with a bad battery you can just walk out put this on crank the lawnmower up and then go ahead and cut grass i guess it also has a usb charger here so you can plug your uh, phone into it and charge off of this it's just a really good strong battery pack but i was looking at them there's you know tack life uh, there's all kinds of these things out there and they all have different ratings and stuff I went over some of the different ratings and also looked for the best rating for the best price and this is what I came up with was this guy right here but we're gonna put it to the test my uh, my old Jeep sitting outside right now we're gonna go out there and see if we can crank it up the Jeep's been sitting for six seven maybe close to eight what's this September almost eight months it's been Jan since january i haven't touched i haven't cranked it up i haven't done anything with it and the battery is flat dead there's nothing in it so we're going to slap this on and try it on the jeep and then i'm going to take a couple of uh, tests with this and just see uh you know how good a product is it it's this one here uh, is uh, retail somewhere around the 35 dollar range so it's like i said uh, i did the uh, current and the level and the ratings on them versus the price and this is what i came up with was this one here when we get done i'll give you a link to the description below where you can purchase this for about that price but let's see how let's see how good is it right let's go to the jeep and find out so there it is the uh the jeep it's been sitting since january and uh I'll be right back as soon as we find the keys. <laughs> so when I went to find the keys, I also found uh, this phone, which it's an old useless phone, but it's, it's dead. So I thought just for the fun of it, why not? Plug the battery in and let's see what it does. Wow, okay, it's charging the phone. And see, like I said, it has a USB on it, and there's also some blue lights on the side. These, there's four blue lights. I guess that shows it's fully charged at this point. Just got this in, so I'm not really too familiar with it just yet. But uh, uh, like I said, I bought it at a very, very low price. So uh, you know, this would be really handy for that price. I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars for one of these things at this time. There's also a charge port right here beside it, which is the USB-C type uh, connection that you'd port, you'd plug into a, a USB uh, system off a wall outlet or whatever, and you would charge this thing fully up. So it's uh, showing fully charged, and it's charging the phone right now too. So that's pretty cool. Let's get the back. Let's get this cheap button running. Okay, we'll go test. Turn the key. I turn the key, there isn't even a click. The battery is dead. So let's put this booster on the battery and uh, let's give her a shot. There's a thing they call uh, mud divers here, and it looks like they built right over top of the battery, among other places. So 
so that it's been sitting forever so I would think they basically we could look at this as being a good example of your car your truck flat out no battery <laughs> you know who does that but let's see how we do okay so we plug this in the lights are on which I I assume that's the way it's supposed to be, and we'll go hook this on the battery. Okay, so I had to knock the mud diver hornet into the nest or whatever away, but I got the I've got this hooked on to the battery terminals now, of course, red to red, black to black. And I'm going to go turn the key and, and see if this puppy will start. Wow, that was quick. Now, just out of curiosity, no, it still shows fully charged, so it didn't even really, I guess it didn't even phase it. The thing is so light, it doesn't feel like there's anything inside that box, but as you can hear, the old Jeep is running. Wow. Let's uh, back up. If you, I don't know if you could hear it, but the Jeep actually cranked over really, really fast, actually, considering the battery is basically zero. There, there is no battery. That, that was most impressive. I really, I wasn't sure how well that would do. The uh, cables, I feel a little tiny bit of, yeah, a little bit of heat right in there on the cable. I guess for all the energy that went flying out of there. The thing is is the chargers this still looks fully charged and it just cranked that Jeep up so this is a pretty handy item to have around the tool shop or whatever for like I said garden tractor the car the truck even an outboard motor whatever anything that you know you want to slap across and jump a battery this is a much easier system than you know messing with booster cables and trying to find somebody else to run another engine or something for you that's a lot of energy in this thing. There's also, of course, uh, a little flashlight gizmo here that I'm not sure how we... Yeah, don't know how to operate that yet. I guess uh, maybe you hold the button down. Yep, there it goes. Yeah. So there's also a, a flashlight uh, if you need it for nighttime use. And there's a strobe. Okay. Slow strobe. Hold her down again. Nope. And there now now the whole thing is off the next curious thing I want to find out is right now it's off there's no readings nothing I'm going to plug this in and put a put on a voltage tester and just see if there's still an output with these cables I assume that the unit is off now but I don't really know because if I plug in let's plug the phone in uh, as soon as I plug the phone in this came on immediately okay let's let's do that again I'm going to shut the unit off and uh, then we'll do some, I'm going to do some tests. But that, that is, that is amazing. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, first thing I want to do is, <clears throat> is measure the voltage and just see if this thing is alive. Right now, it shows no life, nothing is happening. So, just a second here. <clears throat> and so what I want to do is plug the cables in. Okay, these are off nothing going on okay so let's plug the plug this back this is a an amazing little uh, charger I uh, really wasn't feeling you know lucky even at 99,900 uh, milliamp hours or something it was like yeah that's I, I don't know how much that you know is will it will it start the car you know and right now 16 16.1 volts so it's this thing is hot right now even though 
the button's not showing me anything. So the minute you plug in, this thing is hot and ready to go. That's good to know, I guess, because when you set this up and you plug this into the unit, you do not want to uh, short or bang, you know, whatever together because it'll probably cause some harm to this anyways. Bad enough, I just put it on a dead Jeep that was that uh, hasn't been cranked forever. Sure started up in a hurry. Uh, so that means the same thing. If I don't touch this button, but if I put just the phone on the USB, does that mean it's... I uh, see the light comes on immediately. So for some reason, it senses when you when you plug something like a USB in. So if I plug the phone in right now, uh, it will. Yep, there it goes. It's charging the phone immediately. The phone was almost dead, and I just thought I'd bring the phone out and just try it on here. So now, uh, what happens is when you plug this into your uh, USB uh, charger outlet in the house. These lights will flash up like this and show you that it's charging. Once the all blue lights like that are on solid and it stops, it's fully charged. That's about the best I can do with that because that's... Does that make sense? I think it does. I think it should. Yeah. Anyways, it's a very light. Like I said, it, it's, it doesn't weigh hardly anything. I don't know how they keep all that... How do they keep all that electricity in there? <laughs> you know, let's take the USB off. I don't really need that phone or anything. But I uh, was very curious to find out about the outputs. Apparently, you don't have to turn it on or do anything. It's Once it's charged up and you plug these in, that's live. That's, that's ready to go. Okay. So we'll put the voltmeter away. Just wanted to, had to, had to find that out. Now, what I'm going to do is, like I said, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below. And that'll take you to where I found this uh, device. And, you know, you can take advantage of that price, too. For the 35 some odd, or I think it was 35, 39 dollars, I believe it's selling for. Uh, you know, you get a great deal, and you've got this fabulous little booster. That anytime you need a boost on something, uh, it's just a, a great little ha extra handy item to have around the tool shop. As always, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Like, please like, share, and subscribe. And. Uh, Wow, it's been a fun week. Next week, back to 3D printing for a little bit and more crazy, uh, more interesting, more interesting tools coming in. So I got that thing is still on again. Every time I touch it, I keep touching the the power button. So maybe that's why it was so cheap, right? But uh, the only, next thing I was wondering is how many times or how much life you'd have in this before it uh, blew up. But right now, it it works so well that uh, great. Okay. I'm sold. See you guys.